Hello and welcome back to Gran Turismo 7. Thank you very much for joining me in today's video. Now, last time out, we... Well, I cannot remember what we did because it was a few weeks ago. And uh, I ended up purchasing an F-150. Or did I win the F-151 or the other? And I'm going to be racing it because we are now doing a Ford collection. We need to collect things such as these. If I just go to this... Uh, there you go. We've got the RS from 2018, which I already have. We've got the Raptor, which I already have. Now I need to get the Ford GT. However, there are some other races here and there that I need to do. So I'm going to be doing all the other races. I, cl I think... Oh, what was the last video? I actually cannot recall. It has been that long since I've recorded. Just to give you an idea on the whole how long it has been, I missed the entire due to recording issues and time and all of that kind of stuff. I missed the whole update, or was it the 1.17 update, 1.16 update, whatever it was that had the issue where, or I say the issue, the glitch where we could get about a decade's worth of four star and six star tickets, and I completely missed that. So uh, yeah, that is annoying. I think in the last video we were racing the BMW if I remember correctly, but I'm not 100% sure. Anyway. In this video, we are going to be now... We have to do Daytona for one. But so I think there might be a little bit more to this. Of course, we have Watkins Glen now. Yes, we have the pickup truck race here, which I'm going to be doing at Colorado Springs. We have... Uh, is it something at Willow? Yes, we have a pickup truck race here at Willow. And then we have the pickup truck race here at Daytona. And I'll do the Daytona one last. So we'll be doing probably Willow Springs, Colorado Springs, Daytona Springs. Yeah, not really Springs. But that is the order we, we are going to be doing it. So make sure you stay tuned. Uh, I have massively tuned this truck because I'm not particularly interested in racing pickup trucks. I just want to get through this, get all the Fords I want and move on. So this should be in theory extremely easy. But... But you never really know. All right, here we are now. Uh... Uh, I think this truck might have, um, it might be a truck that has the paddle shifters okay so my truck is going to be way way over the uh, required usage for this also my, my steering is incredibly heavy what is going on with that uh, so I think this is supposed to be 420 ish uh, performance points somewhere around that 420 430 uh, performance points instead I have a good 694 performance points so whoa that guy's going sideways I'll hit him I like the fact that all of these trucks though tend oh, I'm going sideways uh, all of these trucks have got these little decals and stuff on it my truck now just looks bare but yes, the, the steering wheel is incredibly, incredibly heavy. Um, I guess they've adjusted something because it feels like it just feels way too, way too heavy. Why does that one have its brake lights on? I've just checked whether I'm in the right mode and I am. So it's not that. I must say, Willow Springs in in this sort of condition, with this sort of racing, where I'm not really pushing. Wow, that's a Texaco truck. Okay, I I feel like I will need to eventually get my truck um, looking like those. What I have done off camera as well, whilst I'm going through this and talking about it, I've done some of the circuit experiences. Uh, this is why you shouldn't talk about it and focus on the driving. 
as well as sprinters and knocks and easy track up points. Uh, I've done some of the circuit experiences, uh, including the new one at Wat Watkins Glen. So I've gone ahead and done done those. Uh, it's nice and nice and simple. Uh, very very. I think well, I'd say very very easy. Not really that easy. With Watkins Glen, sector three has always been a, a bit of a, a bogey sector for me, uh, particularly. Oh, not the. Uh, the hairpin, I was, I was trying to think of which turn this is, it's the hairpin, whoa, back into this car sure likes to step out, so the hairpin yeah has been always a little bit, uh, a little bit difficult and getting the time at that hairpin and then the subsequent corner, uh, the next corner after that is also a little bit sketchy because it's a lot tighter than it seems. What on earth just happened there? I might have actually beached myself. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I've got an opportunity here to race back. I can see the yellow flags. This is going to be tough though. The car just snapped on me. I mean, okay, this is the first time I've ever driven this car, but it just snapped. This is going to be tough now. Well, I guess, you know, was I going to make it tough on myself intentionally? I wasn't going to. I just wanted to get through this. But now, oh, no, it's not really going to be tough. I mean, I'm, I'm right here with them again. Here we go. Let's take one on the brakes. And let's go gently behind this one yes so circuit experience I've done uh, blue moon is it blue moon speedway blue moon bay whatever it is uh, I've done one of the oval ones whatever that one was the one that um, it looked like super speedway but was a much tinier version of super speedway I've done that uh, what else have I gone ahead and completed um, trial mountain I think I did uh, have I done all of trial mountain or have I just done one bit of it? I'm not entirely certain. But I've done I've done a few of those, and that's enabled me to to have some some additional uh, funds, which is great. So you'll see that I have well over five million now, which is uh, perfect. Uh, let's go ahead and well, there's another RS for me. Great. So now I can tune one up and keep one stock, which is something that I I would like to do. I'd like to have that kind of um, opportunity. Uh, that's not what I'm meant to do. Yeah, let's do this. Let's just find. Why are the brake lights on on all these cars? But they look like that. That highlight looks like a brake light. Clearly, it isn't, but it certainly looks like one. I wonder if. I mean opportunity for pictures certainly right here again I'm not I'm not really that much of a fan of pickup trucks to drive they look they look very nice but I'm not I'm not a a, a fan of of driving pickup trucks they they tend to be a little uh, that's not the person I want to press they tend to be a little I suppose big this is too they're just too big in in my opinion they they are just too big they have their uses do not get me wrong farmland things like that and certainly if you're doing pickup trucks and races fine but through the streets of the UK it's just not not really doable it's it's not a feasible thing to have um i i know people around where i live there are some people with pickup trucks and they do look absolutely remarkable. They they truly do. Um, some have Fords, some have Dodges. Um, but when you see them on the road, you just think, why? That just looks so big. It's it's difficult to to understand why you would have such a such a large machine where where you really do not do not need it 
Wow, the lighting on that's a little bit bright. This is what I mean about the glare, by the way, when I say the glare is a bit overkill on this. You can clearly see it there. That is rather bright on the overkill. But now if I do that, should make it a little bit better. And now I can actually see what on earth I am taking a picture of as well. Do I want it that way? Do I want it that way? Now, that way looks a little better. If I do... Aha! There we go. Now, now we're talking. Mm, let's do... Again, let's do that. Let's see what that brings. Uh, many, many lights. Many lights, many brights. That's just way too bright. Let's try that again. Zero out the glare. If not, see what I want to do is I want to drop the glare without dropping the exposure because that way it keeps, at least you can sort of see everything. That is probably better. GT7 does need to improve its photo mode the, in the background. I think it needs to improve that a little. But aside from that, we are good. I'm not going to stay in this too long. Let's just go ahead and let's have a look for another potential photo. I mean, if you were to go through this angle, but I'd want to... I'm just looking around. Uh, anywhere where a photo would look great. Actually, yeah, somewhere like this, for example. Uh, not quite there. Let's overtake this vehicle. Pause it there. No, there, as it's crossing the start finish straight. Walk mode. Do that. Maybe, just maybe, I'll have something here as a. As a potential for this again, going to do that. Focus there. That's the wrong button again. I keep pressing triangle when I mean to press R1. Although that being said, that has panned out all right, but it's just the glare is just a little too too much again. This might make it look a little bit better. Obviously, it isn't going to be quite as I don't know bombastic, quite as in your face. But, at least you can sort of see what's going on there. That will do. Uh, so yeah, save that picture. I'm not particularly keen on that one, but that gives us some pictures. We can now happily move on to the next race. So where is the next race? Um, it's not that one. Colorado Springs. I have... I have... De tires I believe there they are there we go this is going to be interesting this is going to be very interesting I'm not uh, I'm not sure if this is going to pan out for me I'm not somebody who I'm not somebody who's ever rallied a truck before I say that I feel like I have rallied a truck before At least I can feel the the force feedback's actually improved. It's heavy, but I can feel things in it. That's different. Now I can feel the gravel, which is an interesting thing. Out of my way. It's rally rubbing is racing. No, it's not rally. It's rally cross. That's what this is. This is rally cross. So crashing into people is perfectly allowed. Within reason, I suppose. Come on. Do not shake yourself apart. That's the one thing that I really need to make sure it doesn't happen. Hey! Oh, crashing is allowed. Okay. Interesting driving here. And obviously there is a lot of power in the back of this, so... My right foot is having to be incredibly careful. As is my left foot, to be fair.
Come on, how many laps of this do I have? Three laps. Right, I've got three laps to three laps to sort this out. Uh, I like that. Is it tundra? Turtle tundra. That's actually rather nice. And this one with the weird green lights, uh, green lights, green wheels is just what well, weird. Position five of twelve. Not good. Not good. This is it, uh, so. At this point, I would say it's it has less to do with the with the driving and sorry less to do with the um uh power in the car and more to do with the driving and i'll be honest driving in this is is interesting because it's not as i said not my style rally in gran turismo is weird really weird oh there's another truck is that someone I'm lapping, or...? I doubt it's somebody I'm lapping. Two trucks, that must be second and first ahead of me. Yes, looking at the map, that is indeed second and first. Oh, oh over, over, watch it. Rally cross this come on okay that's blocked last lap I mean I can see these two so I can see them so I can overtake one there we go Up the inside of the second. There we go. Watch that. There we go. Nice and easy. Keep it turning sideways slightly. It's a good thing I did this second and not l last. Just in case things went wrong with it. It would have been a while then to get this done. And plus, I need a bit more focus on this. It'd be nice to have a, a cool down, just like, just like when you're exercising. You'll have a, you do warm ups. So Willow Springs was roughly a warm up. Um, this is the main event. Ow, ow, ow! That was almost broke my finger there. So Willow Springs was the warm up event. This is the the main exercise. And Daytona shall be the, the cooldown. There we go. That was tough. Well, I say tough. It wasn't really that tough, but it was a, a little tough. Okay. Uh, pictures could look nice here, though. And I'm not going to get that driving marathon. That is really, 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 really annoying. Hey, look what I won. The car that I've just purchased. Um... Did I purchase this car or win it? I cannot remember. Anyway, let's go inside and try and find a, a decent picture because this is going to be interesting. And you'll see why I was sort of feathering the throttle at points. It wasn't easy to get the... With, with the amount of power that this vehicle has, it was not easy to get power down. So I was getting more power down than those guys, but... It was still proving to be somewhat difficult. I'll try and find a place to take a photo. I mean, uh, maybe, maybe there, possibly. Oh, I know, I know, I know. You're really close to this one. Let's see if I can... Let's see what this looks like if I do this. 
like that, like that. Shutter speed goes up a little. That goes there. Let's see what that pans out. Uh, pans out like. Surprisingly decent. Surprisingly decent. I will take it. All right, let's now just continue. I'll look for another, maybe one spot to take a a picture. That was that jump. Bit of crashing, bit of spinning, bit of all sorts. Oh yeah, let's 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 take a picture here. There's the picture right there. You, no one's going to see a thing. But. This gives it a very rally cross vibe by doing this. Very, very rally cross style. Uh, in fact, I would need to be a lot further away. We're going to zoom in quite a bit. We'll focus on that one there. We will bring this down to about an F4. Bring that up. I need to try and get something here that the angle's just not quite where I want it. I know the angle I want. I definitely know the angle I want. Also, that person is living very dangerously. Or if I just do, if I just zoom in on just my vehicle, you can clearly see there are other vehicles around. And, well, I don't know, what, what will that do? What will that give me? Let's see. Uh, no. There's just no, there's no dynamic to that one. I, th I feel like for rally, you need to be a lot closer to the vehicles to get the the kind of shots you're after. Should it should that be this way? Maybe it should be over the bonnet of this car. No, that doesn't work either. Okay, that isn't working the way I want it to work. So let's back out of that. Let's go forward a little to perhaps there and then try again. Now we might have something. Like this. In we go. No. Uh, like this. In like so. Uh, okay, now we're getting somewhere here. Starting to get somewhere. Uh, let's just take a picture just to see where, how it pans out first. And then I'll sort out the other bits. Also, eventually I will fix the squeak on my chair. Yeah, that... Okay, we're starting... I'm starting to see something here. Maybe if I just move this further towards the corner. Bring that down to perhaps F4. Bring this up to 250. Get the focus on the front of the vehicle and try that. What do we see? That way the rally, the, the dust tail, the plume behind it is, is visible too. Uh, no, it's a bit... There's less aggression there. That's a more aggressive shot, I would say. You... You can still see the cars in the background, so maybe that would work as potential. Yes, I guess. Yeah, I'll take that. I'm I'm not not too happy with it. Not keen on the composition at all. But in the interest of just moving on, let's go ahead and get the next one done. Which is five laps of Daytona, I think. If I remember, I checked this some time ago. Five laps of Daytona. Right, yeah. 
let's put the racing soft tyres back on. Because why not? Here we go. Daytona Trioval. Easy peasy. Nothing to worry about. Begin. I've noticed that Daytona always cuts out on the gears. It's done this in three cars I've tried on this track. It's, it, it has done the same thing. This is it, I'm maxed out. And this is why this is probably not going to be the, the fastest way forward. Although I could probably have changed my gearing to make one 180 perhaps I could have probably got 180 out of this but you know at this point in time I would be so this is five laps 30k plus a... you're probably going to get what 45k I think so you'll get 45,000 credits for this but each lap is going to be a minute so that's 45,000 credits in five minutes however I can probably get more than that actually oh okay uh, this steering is a lot heavier than I remember I mentioned that earlier but it, it truly is um, 50 seconds now I had it at 40. If I, I might do this twice. I might do this one twice just because I want to work out whether this is uh, a better run than the than the Corvette. Uh, sorry, the Camaro. The Camaro does things in what the entire lap in 40, 40 seconds. It's two and a half minutes for three laps. To, to get it done, loaded, unloaded. It's about two minutes, 12 seconds, I think, for for the three laps. This is going to be four and a half minutes for, for the five laps. So I'll have to see. Yeah, it does push up on this. This car is a little understeery. I could put, I've put nitrous on this, right? No, I haven't. I could put nitrous on this. What's the point though? Because it doesn't. It's not at the speed that I need to be, so. The gearing needs to be changed. Unless I had the short ratio gearbox. Did I put two gearboxes? I have no idea. I really have no idea. I did this weeks ago preparing for a recording, never got around to recording, and then now we are three weeks later, four weeks later, and, and here I am doing the recording. Trundling around nice and easy. My car doesn't have the red band in the middle. That's a shame. Mind you, this is a newer vehicle. It does have the it does have a turbo gauge though. Yeah, this is this is a much newer vehicle. I like the fact that it's selected fuel economy there on the on the computer. The, the MFD shows fuel economy, which is, uh, well, it doesn't actually show the fuel economy, but it's certainly showing the, the sign for it. Oh, come on, turn it, turn it, turn it. Yeah, it's, it's a bit tight. Yeah, th this car is a bit understeery. It's a little, a little bit tight. Game 56. 56.139 Can I now, can I manage to get a lap time slightly less than that? Again, pushing up the banking I'll push it back down the banking nice and gently I might just get a time that's a bit less than that 56.1 dead maybe 56.100 Tenths count. Come on, push back down. Big 
I got 160 there where I've not really been hitting 160. What was that? What was that? I'm not going to take any pictures on this because this just is useless, really. Oh, it didn't tell me what my last lap was. That's really annoying. 45k. Hmm. There's the GT. Lovely car. Um, we'll exit that. I'm just going to... I'm going to go to retry. And I'm just going to go to my car settings. Go into my detail settings. I just want to see. Yeah, I do have... I could, if I wanted to, crank this right the way up like that. I do not have nitrous on this. I'm just a little curious as to what this is going to do. So I've I've pushed that up quite significantly. Let's just have a look. It's only going to take us another five minutes. And it could give me another 45k. I just want to see what happens if I push that push that, that far. I may not do the entire race, let's just find out. And we've got to watch that understeer as well. Okay, there's 160 plus already. 65, 66. I think we're running into an aero wall here. Yep, there's an aero wall. Okay, so we get a little bit more out of it. Let's quit. Uh, how do I quit? That's the one. Uh, okay. So we'll go exit. That's fine, that's fine. Oh, I got a four star ticket. We'll open that before we end the video. Uh, so there's an aerial wall that I run into. So perhaps if I were to... Bring this down four, five. So that, what was it originally? I think it was 240, right? Let's bring it to 300. Just again, uh, out of curiosity, I want to see how fast does that manage to get us? If it gets us an additional 15 miles per hour, for example, that would be interesting. But I've got to check that aero wall, which I was I was expecting that we would would get hit by one of those. I mean, it is literally a box up front. Okay, we are now accelerating through that wall. We have enough power to accelerate past it. We're at 170, and is that our wall? 173, 172. Seems to be, but that is an additional 10 miles per hour. And then we slow down again. So... Let's just find out one lap. I just want to find out my lap time on it. if I could get this down to 4 minutes for 45k that might actually be a little bit better than what I'm experiencing so at the moment we had something like 4 minutes what was it, 4 minutes 40 seconds, 4 minutes something like that I think it was 4 minutes 35 seconds so I just want to see so we were at a, was it a 56 second lap? How much do we shave off by doing this? Another five seconds? No, it's going to be another three seconds. Four seconds. We've shaved off another four seconds. Okay. Okay. Let's drop out of that again. Uh, car settings. Detail settings. I'll drop this by another that much 
By another that much, yes, that's that's the correct term for it. By another that much. Let's see what we got now. So 170 was what we were sort of hitting, but we were hitting our aerodynamic limit again. The 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 drag coefficient was just way too great at that. Well, the drag coefficient of this car is rather large. This has a very high drag coefficient. Um, and therefore, the amount of power required to get around and beat the drag as you go as you're going faster is is quite significant. No, doesn't work. Does not work. And if we just stay in fifth. Yeah, it isn't working. Okay, this car is not going to be able to do what I wanted to do. It might with with some additional tweaking, but nothing that I do just just now. So to end today's video, let's go ahead and do two things. We need to go back to the cafe. Cafe. Um, question again, people. Do you call it the cafe or the calf? Um, and we need to uh, let. Well, let's let's open up the ticket first. Let's get that ticket. See what see what it gives us four star so it might be a car might be a car oh it's not going to give us that car that's for sure what's that lamborghini wow and uh, by the way i have worked this out this is rigged this entire thing is rigged to give you the tires which is something that i very very much abhor sony for doing um and polyphony certainly for doing Oh, I should have taken that as a picture. Oh, I wasn't thinking. That, that would have been quite nice. Uh, special Stage Route X. Great. Special Stage Route 10 is... Oh. There must be a way just to see that picture. There has to be. Uh, the USA's Ford is one of the world's leading car manufacturers. That is true. It's been responsible for producing legendary sports cars, such as the Ford GT, which was produced in England, not in the United States. So best any, that's definitely American and it is an amazing pickup truck, and, which was built in Europe. Yes. Um, but it is Ford has been involved and they have put forward, you know, they have put things forward. Um, certainly the Model T as well. Uh, that, yeah, I don't, I do not like the interior of that Focus so much. I just never have. The thing is, I've driven these. But I just do not like the, the interior that much. It it just looks a little bit strange compared to the slightly old ones. Uh, production line. Yes, there's the Model T. 15 million Model Ts. I did not know that. I knew it was quite a lot. I wasn't... I didn't know that it was a... Uh, 15 million. Again, I wasn't thinking. And now we've got to go get a Chevy. Do, can I just... Uh, I could do that. Can I... If I do that, can I make that... Bigger? No. Apparently not. That's annoying. That's really annoying. I just want to sort of see that picture. That is it. But, okay, fine. Let's go to the menu box before we end and have a look at what we require. We require a C7. A vet. Is that going to be at Special Stage Route 10? I have no idea. We're also going to get a roulette ticket and the uh, ZR, ZR1 C4 Corvette ZR1. Okay, let's go ahead and start that. And we will be ending this Make che who put Chevrolet with SUVs as the main one? Surely everyone thinks Chevrolet, they'll think Camaro Corvette. Right? I don't know. I, I, I have no idea. Anyway, that is where I'm going to end this video. Thank you very much for watching. Please remember to hit the like button if you like this video. Subscribe to the channel for more videos on Gran Turismo 7. Leave a comment in the comments box below letting me know what you think. Don't forget to support me on Patreon if you can do so at www.patreon.com slash ecgadgets. Your support would be massively appreciated. It would really, really help me out. And also, 
You can find me on social media at ECGadgetLP for both Twitter and Instagram. I'm actually kind of curious as to where I need to go for this. That's one. Clubman Cup 700. Oh, is that actually limited to uh, performance points? Or No, no, it's not. I was thinking of something else. Uh, okay. I know what car I'm going to use for this, I think. I think I know what car I'm going to use for this, and it's going to be an absolute piece of cake. I told you the C... I knew that that was going to happen, because that was the first time... So in Gran Turismo 6, I believe they had us drive that C7 when it came out at Special Stage Route X. Um, Gran Turismo 5 or Gran Turismo 6? No, Gran Turismo 6, which is why I thought it was going to be that. Anyway, uh, enough of me blabbering. There's the other one. That is all from me, and I'll see you next time where I'm going to jump into a... Yeah, I'm going to jump into a very powerful Corvette and see if it actually works on anything other than Daytona's Oval, because this is going to be rather interesting.